So as I already mentioned, uh, we are going to have two pages. We're going to have an index page uh, that asks for your GitHub nickname, and we're going to have a, a report page that contains a correlation of your GitHub activity and weather on another page. To implement like different pages, we need to have a root component that will act as sort of a page manager, a page dispatcher. So we're going to have a route that has a parameter page that will trigger store called pages. When the store pages will be triggered, it will look at the page parameter and render different page components, different inner page components, depending on that parameter. This is how generally pages in Cadbury are implemented. So you usually have a root dispatcher and that dispatcher looks at parameters in the URI and just renders different stuff. Let's try to implement that. First, we will need the pages component and the corresponding pages store. We're going to call component pages and we're going to add store pages. Okay, so we're going to incorporate the pages component into the root document component. So let's just go to the document component. And instead of hello world component, we're going to use pages component. So let's just remove hello world component. Let's open the pages component that we just created. And let's take a look at its template. So right now, pages component doesn't have anything. So let's just add something. Uh, for example, h1 pages. So yeah, the root document contains the pages component. The pages component contains just pages, like, like a placeholder. Uh, so yeah, we need to start the Cadbury application because we, we stopped it. We need to wait a little bit while all of the dependencies are built. Okay, so as you can see, we have the these pages. So just to ensure that this is the component, I can change it, say hello pages or hi pages. And it says hi pages. So I'm going to change the header to second header and I can use, for example, here in the first level header uh, document and here we can see document pages. And it's quite interesting. So you can even see the cat components in the DOM because they're web components. So now let's take a look at the pages store that we also created recently. So here we can remove different data for that pages component. And what we can return, we can return the current page. Uh, current page. I'm going to use a camel case. I'm not sure if it's okay or not, but whatever. So we can say that, that the current page is going to be indexed. Uh, current page is index like that. And if we refresh, it won't show the current page because we didn't say that that pages component uses that stores. So we have to say cat store pages. And it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> so I can see that in the chat, someone pointed out that it's not index, uh, but rather current page. Yeah, thank you so much because I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, so as you can see, whatever I put here, it will be displayed here. That essentially means we can use that parameter in that component to dispatch to different pages. But to dispatch to different pages, we have to actually create those pages and those pages are going to be the components as well. So let's create all of the pages we need for our application. So those pages are going to be components. So let's add component page index and the second component page report. So we're going to have a convention that the pages, the page components will be prefixed with page dash prefix. And how can we dispatch between these pages? You see, we use handlebars as the template engine for Cadbury. Handlebars allows us to replace stuff on the text level. That means inside of the pages component, I can insert constructions that looks like cat dash current page cat current page that essentially means for example if i put index here right the current page will be replaced with index and we will get a cat index component 
and then that component will be rendered as well. By the way, I forgot to prefix that with page. That will trigger the page index component and that component will be actually rendered. We can manipulate components on the text level. So right now pages are empty. So let's just fill, fill them with something. Page index, let's find the page index and say this is index. But since we are using header, so the first level header, the second level header, this one is going to be the third level header. So this is the index and let's find the report. Uh, template for report h3 h3 this is report okay so let's take a look at the folder that contains components so we have components for document some components that we don't really care about and we have components for page index page report uh, pages even though components they are sort of trees in the Cadbury components, they are stored like a plain list. So they they can like depend on each other forming uh, the trees, but still they are, uh, they are stored like that. So let's see how it works. So now it says this is index. And if we change index with report, now it says it's report. And if we use something that is that doesn't exist, it won't print anything because it didn't find any components, so it just doesn't, doesn't print anything. This is a simple page manager, which essentially just dispatches everything. Uh, but this is not exactly what we want. We want to change the page depending on the URI that we have. Uh, when we are at the index, when we are at the root of the page, I see the index page. When I put something here, I want to see a report page. And report page will be for the user in the URI. For example, I have a username Rexim in the GitHub. And if I put something like slash Rexim for my URI, I want to see the report page for that specific user for, for me on the GitHub. So let's try to implement that. So we need to modify routes. So I go here and I modify this route like that. So that essentially means that this parameter is going to be the GitHub name and changing that parameter will trigger pages store. Let's go to the pages store. So in the pages store, we can access that name via the context of the store. Context state name. Okay, since we have name, what we can do, we can check if name, for example, is empty, right? We return the index page. Otherwise, the current page is report. There we go. The URI doesn't contain anything, so we are in the index page. When we type like slash something, it's in the report page. Another thing that I want to do, I want to print the username that is, that is in the URI on the report page. Let's try to do that. Let's open the report page template. GitHub user. And I want to have this name here. I want to use like company that is called cat GitHub name. Cat GitHub name. I just thought that we can make that component a little bit more generic. Let's call this component cat label. So it can display anything. The exact content of that label will be determined by cat store. And the store is going to be GitHub name. We're going to remove this store in this component later. We just implemented it for the educational purposes. Okay, so let's just create those components in this store. So I'm adding the component label. I'm adding a store GitHub name. So let's open the label component. So here's the label component. And let's open the GitHub name store. So this component will, will display a name. And the name comes from the store 
and store gets that name from the context and the context takes that name from the routes. So yeah, uh, when we specify a URI parameter, it can actually trigger several stores, as many stores as we want. Uh, when we change that name, the name of the GitHub user, it triggers the GitHub name store. That store takes that name and return it as the store data and that store data is taken and displayed by the components as the name. So this is the entire like path, URI, store, and the component. Okay, now to make it actually work, we have to put that label component somewhere. I think we already did that. So yeah, we already used that component here and we already provided the store GitHub name store as the store for that component. Let's try to refresh it doesn't work, probably needs, needs to be restarted just in case. Yeah, as you can see now, it displays the name of the user. Uh, we can change that name to something else and it says GitHub user this one. So it takes that username from the URI um, because that URI triggers the corresponding store and the corresponding store returns the data for the component to display. And if we don't provide any name, we are in the index page. So this is how it essentially works. All right, so we have the initial layout for our project. Uh, we have pages component, which is essentially the dispatcher between two pages, like index page and report page. And we can easily switch between those pages by just changing the URI and everything, everything works. So on the next video, we are going to start implement the index page and fill it with the different kinds of logic and components and stores and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be fun.